There's a set of vectors known as the unit basis vectors, or more commonly known as the standard basis vectors, that we will be using throughout this course. We now introduce that set of vectors. So what are the unit basis vectors, or as they are more commonly called, standard basis vectors? Well, they're vectors of size n, so they have n entries, that have the special property that all those entries are equal to zero, except for one of those entries. Now in this course, we're going to use the notation e sub zero to denote the vector that has that one in the jth entry. Because we start indexing at zero, that means that the vector starts with j zeros, then has a component equal to one, and that's the component indexed by j, and then the remaining entries are also equal to zero. So if we're in Rn, then we will have n unit basis vectors, n standard basis vectors, and these will be denoted e sub zero through e sub n minus one, and e sub zero will have a one in the first entry, e sub one a one in the second entry, and so forth. So where have you seen this before? Well, if you took a course in physics, you may have seen the symbols i with an arrow above it, j with an arrow above it, and k with an arrow above it. These were pronounced as vec i, vec j, and vec k. Well, if you think about it, those are simply the unit basis vectors that we just talked about, because vec i is the vector with the one in the first entry, vec j with the one in the second entry, and vec k with the one in the third entry. If you visualize this, you may remember that in a standard coordinate system, you have these three vectors that lie along the x, y, and z axis. Well, those are vec i, or e sub zero as we call it, vec j, or e sub one as we call it, and k, vec k, or e sub two as we call it. Now, what is the advantage of using e sub zero through e sub n minus one? In other words, what's the advantage of our notation over the one that have, you have seen in physics? Well, we can talk about unit basis vectors now of arbitrary size. Well, if you use the notation that physics uses, you'll run out of letters in a hurry.